right guys, my name is Matt and I'm excited to uh, tell you about a new album I've got coming out on August 2nd. It's called This Changes Everything and uh, the heart of the album is uh, that the reality this is the reality that Jesus is alive and Jesus is Lord and that reality changes everything. But th there's a problem, you see obviously we're all brought up and we all live in this world where uh, we're at the center of the universe. We are our own Lord and our own Master. Even in church world, I, I know for me growing up in church I, I was faced all the time with the temptation to keep myself at the center of the universe because I, I was always asked questions like, would you like to accept Jesus into your life? Uh, which is a terrible question and I, I get the, the sentiment and the heart behind it, but uh, Jesus is not the third grade kid with pimples waiting to be picked for the dodgeball team. Uh, he's Lord of the universe and needs none of us to accept him. Probably the better question is, has Jesus accepted you? And so I really believe there's a lot of Christians, maybe even some watching this video right now, who uh, don't actually believe that Jesus rose from the dead. Let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, you see, there's what's called rational atheism, where somebody has logically con concluded that there is no God. But there's also what's called practical atheism, where the way in which you live would demonstrate that there is no God. Let me give you some examples of what I mean. For instance, if you're a, a Christian, you say, sure, yeah, Jesus rose from the dead, I believe that, and yet you won't and can't forgive that person who's wronged you, do you really believe he rose from the dead? Because the same one who rose from the dead is the same one who said, forgive as you have been forgiven. So no matter what you might say with your words, what your life is actually saying is that his bones are still in that grave. Another example, uh, if, if money is your world and you're all about the Benjamins, all about making cash and, and greed is what drives you, and yet you say, sure, I, I'm a Christian, I believe Jesus rose from the dead. Well, do you really? Because the same one who rose from the dead is the same one who said, give up all your possessions. And so while you be, might be saying with your lips that Jesus is alive, what you're saying with your life is that his bones are still in that grave. Uh, my pastor tells the story of a guy who uh, is a college student and he was uh, sharing the gospel with this college student and uh, the guy just said, you know, I've got to go away. I've got to take some time to think about this. And uh, he said to him, you know, well, tell me what's going on. And he just said, if Jesus Christ is alive, then, then uh, that, that totally is, is going to alter everything about, you know, everything about my life. You know, I'm a, I'm a college student, I'm, I'm doing this major, I'm going this direction, I've kind of built a road map for my life, but, but if Jesus actually rose from the dead and, it, so, and thus uh, vindicating and verifying everything he said to be true, and that alters everything, it changes everything. And that's, that's the heart of this thing. Um, I ask you the question, just think about this question. If they, if they found the bones of Jesus tomorrow, would your life still make sense? Ask yourself that. Because if it would, then, then I've got to wonder, have you really collided with this reality that Jesus rose from the dead, that He is Lord? Because if you have, it, it changes everything. In uh, the year 1514, Nicholas Copernicus, many of you know, made a discovery that changed everything. Uh, he discovered that the Earth is not the center of our galaxy. Up until his time, everybody believed it was a geocentric universe uh, and galaxy that, that everything revolved around the Earth. Uh, but Copernicus made the discovery, a uh, huge discovery. It's called a Copernican revolution. Uh, made the discovery that we're not the center. Actually, the sun is the center and we're this dirt ball uh, of water floating around uh, the sun and now obviously it's not a not a huge deal for us today but back then it was enormous because all of a sudden you started to feel people back then started to feel real small and started to come to grips with the reality that that maybe we're not it that maybe there's reality outside of us and we're not the center so the heart of this album my prayer is that um, as you collide with the gospel, as these songs and these words bring you into collision with 
the reality of Jesus as Lord, with the reality of the gospel, that all of a sudden this life that, that you're living, you're on this course of me and, I, and I'm, I'm the center, that all of a sudden you would collide with this reality that He is the center, He is Lord. And so with this reality in mind, I ask you the, the famous Francis Schaeffer question, how then should we live? Jesus is alive. This changes everything. Jesus Christ, like